to tomatoes, so we, obviously we have to do a recipe with tomatoes. Now's the time to use them. They're in season. The mm. flavor is amazing. The, you know, it, what I love, and it's great how he says don't put them in the fridge, because yeah. when we get deliveries coming in the back, I mean, there's nothing better than the tomatoes are still warm while you're putting them on the plate. Oh, yeah. You know, because they really are a completely different flavor. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to show that, you know, sometimes the tomatoes get a little overripe, they get a little bit too far away. You think, how do I present this, you know? And I think, well, make a simple chilled soup. Right, which is perfect Great way this to go. time of year because you know? it's still warm out. Yep, um, I've got actually some, these are Prince Albert's here, and uh, these are the ones I stole off of Frankie's table over there. He doesn't mind. Yeah. That's fine. But what he I think is great is, you know, the seeds do have a little bit of a bitterness to them, but I find mm. that when um, tomatoes are deep in the season, when they're almost getting to the point where they're overripe, they're, they're not as bitter. They seem to be a little bit more mature or whatever. It's more the unripened tomatoes that really give you that bite. Right. So in this case, just throw it in. You don't have to, you so know. So just keep those seeds in there. Throw the whole thing in no there. No big deal. Yeah, and All I right. think the thing is, is, you know, take advantage of it. You can pass the seeds off afterwards. You a little strain if you want. Yeah. But, you know, if you want to be all refined, like, bust a peller of stage. You know? <laughs> uh, but the thing is, I think it's just really about the, the flavor is they're not going to give you that bite. They're not going to change the flavor, so don't worry about it, right? Now, if you're doing a tomato soup, do you, does it matter if you mix the varieties no. of tomatoes? Yeah, it's fine, no, no. right? They're yeah. all being blended. The only thing to be aware of is the fact that, you know, if you put a few tomato, a uh, yellow in here, it's not, the red is just going to dominate the color. Right. Um, and also, you got to remember that when you put tomatoes, usually they don't come out, like I've actually got a pretty good red soup here, but they usually yeah. come out a little browner <laughs> than oh, red, okay. right? Because most of your flesh, if you're using heirlooms, things like that aren't the vibrant color. That's right. Um, and some of the people say, well, throw a bit of tomato paste in it. No, don't do that. Why? Don't do that. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But for flavor, what I've got chilies. is fresh ginger. Well, I knew you'd go oh, right to the chilies, right? Ginger. But fresh ginger, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like really, and it's supposed it's to be so good it's for you. really great for you, right? Mm -hmm. So just drop that in there like that. And I put a good amount in there, right? Uh, chilies, I know you went straight for that. So yeah. with this, I do. I like the heat. Yeah, and I do remove the seeds. You know, I just kind of scrape those out, something yeah. like this. And I'm putting a whole chili in there. Why not? Why know? not? Yeah. Cilantro. I know when I said cilantro, half the people were like, ooh, and half the people were turning the channel right now. Because, <laughs> but cilantro's great, right? Just well, don't just put use, too much. Just, or take it out if you don't love it. You know what, I used to not love it, but now I can handle it in, uh, in small doses. Right. And that's the thing about cilantro, right? Yeah. Like, it's, it's just, just a, a little, little bit. You just need a little it's bit. It's one of those ones that give you a little bit of depth to flavor. Right. Then, of course, a little sparkling wine. So you put the whole bottle of that in. No, it's a splash in there. I and mean, the, just no. a splash. You know, uh, just a little splash in there, but you can use a white wine if you don't want it, if you want to make it non-alcohol. Yeah. You don't even need to do it. You can just put tomato juice in it. For sure. But you can see, Ooh, now I can leave that easy. run. Let it run and get it nice and smooth, but you yeah. can already see the difference in the color of that one because I used the darker tomatoes compared to the one in the bowl. Right. Right? Yeah. So the it's color is going to represent. Color. But that is as easy as it is. Season up. Put it in the fridge, chill it. Yeah. When you chill it, the pulp will raise to the top. That's not a problem. It's what it just stir it back up and pour it, and you've got a really fresh summer soup. Now, let's say you're going to make this soup. You're going to make this soup for company. Uh, mm -hmm. Would you do it the day before? Would you do it the day of, and then just make sure you chill it for a good how long? Like I, would, I would have everything prepped up like this, and then I would puree it in the morning if you're having it for dinner. Okay. You know, the later, the better, Fair because enough. the fresher it is. If it sits uh, in the fridge, yeah. it starts to get a little stale. You know? oh, okay, gotcha. So, All right, so. good stuff. Yep. Uh, we are putting this on our website as well at cityline.ca.